In this video I'm going to show you how to set up uh, WordPress custom post types, custom fields and custom taxonomies with the uh, the Impreza theme which is available here from ThemeForest. Really powerful theme, really simple to use um, with some really good features built in. So uh, first of all you might ask yourself what's a custom post type? Um, well if you're used to using uh, WordPress you'll know that you have mainly uh, posts and pages and the reason why uh, you have these two separate elements is because they have two different uh, characteristics really so if you look at posts they have some very similar characteristics to pages like obviously you've got a space for a title and a description okay uh, we've also got a category section and that's really the main thing that separates posts from pages because People tend to use uh, pages for sort of static things like the home page or you know a contact page or something like that. Pages that don't really change very much. Where um, posts or blog articles tend to be used for. Um, okay, you could say that the the information on these pages might not change very much, but uh, they are maybe used for news or for for, for, for updates things like that. Um, and you know the 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 the, the, the categories is what can help. End users to uh, to sort through different pieces of information that you put on your website uh, in 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 the shape of a post. But what if you want to make another type of post which has some completely different characteristics? You might want to have things like a phone number in there, or a, a, a link to a website. And whilst you could do those things within the text description box here, let's say you've got uh, you know let's say you've got 500 of these elements. That have all got the phone number and the the web URL. Now, if there comes a time in the future where you want to redesign your website and you know these have been done in a particular style, you're going to have to go through 500 uh, articles potentially and change the style of them one by one. Whereas if you've done this as a custom post type and you've got a separate space for or a separate field or taxonomy, which I'll come to in a minute, um, for the URL uh, link or for the phone number. And then if you want to change that, uh, the way that's presented on the front of your website, you potentially only have to change that once. And it will always show the phone number in a particular way. It will always show the, uh, the URL in a particular way. So that's why we use custom post types. Well, it's one of the, re <laughs> one of the reasons why we use custom post types. So uh, without further ado, what I will show you is um, a way we can do that. So as you can see, I've got the, the, uh, the Impreza theme from Upsolution installed. I'm using the latest version that currently is 8.13. And what I'm also going to do is, um, I'll just quickly explain. This is a, a site I use for testing and for doing demonstrations. And I do have a, quite, a, quite a lot of plugins installed, but I don't have them all switched on. Um, so if you, the, what we're going to need to do is use, uh, we're going to use two plugins. One's called custom post type UI and you can find this very easily you can either just type in CPT UI if you go to uh, add a new plugin like this let's go like this, this one, I've already got it installed but if you just type in CPT UI that should find it yeah there you go so as you can see I've already got it activated and the other one is ACF which stands for advanced custom fields there is a free version and a paid for version of this I've got the pro version installed but I'm actually going to be using pro features so it doesn't really make a difference for the purpose of this demonstration and the other thing we should mention actually that nowadays Impreza does come with the pro version bundled in which is really helpful actually I forgot I should have should have mentioned that earlier on but yeah if we look at the add-ons excuse me I've hear me sniffling I've got a, bit, a little bit of a cold uh, you can see there that it does actually come with the uh, the pro version bundled with the theme um, so I'm going to activate that now as well because for this demo we'll need both so the example I'm going to show you is for a, a website that I'm working on for a client at the moment um, it's, a, it's a museum I'm just going to quickly load it up um, I'm not going to demonstrate on this website I'll show it you but I'll demonstrate how I've done it on the um, on this on this test site so it's a museum and they wanted a page where they can link to other museums and so this is where I have used a custom post type so they can add museums with a location and a link. All right. So as you can see, the common information, they all have a location, a title, an image, and a link. If I, if I click on one of these now, it will take us off to that museum like that. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. 
uh, on this other website. So yeah, as you can see, that's that's where you're getting Prezo from. It's uh, themeforest.net. And if you click on WordPress, go to popular items, that's where you'll find it, uh, just under there. So sorry for going off at a tangent, but let's continue here. So now we've got these two plugins installed. We've got custom fields and CPC UI. The first thing that we're going to do is go make a new custom post type. So I'm going to add edit post types. And the slug is the part of the URL um, that goes in here. So for example, on posts, uh, I'd say you don't have them on posts, do you? But I'll, 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 I'll just send it to the bus, I'll, you'll see what um, how this works. So let's go museums like this. And actually we'll just keep it singular in the slug. Okay. And uh, we'll go for the plural, we'll go museums. And singular will be museum. That's just for things like, you know, when you want to add a new mu museum or you want to find museums. So, so all it's asking you is that. That's the reason for that. Okay. So then we'll scroll down a little bit and we're going to go to some options down near the bottom. So it's going to be public. Queryable, showing the user interface. Uh, some of these you won't need to worry about at all, but let's just go down to. We'll make it hierarchical. And let's see, these are the elements we want to support. So these are built in WordPress uh, elements, things like obviously the title, we're going to need to get the title. We are going to use the editor, that's the text area. We're going to have featured images. Uh, we don't really need page attributes. Um, taxonomies, we don't need to use those either. Those are the built-in taxonomies, and I'll come back to those in a moment, uh, because we are going to actually add a new one um, in, using this plugin as well. Okay, so is that everything? I think that's everything we need switched on for that. So we'll add the post type, and what you're going to see is a new post type appearing here called Museums. Okay. So there you go. We've now got a section called Museums. And as you can see under that menu, all we can see is all museums or add a new one. And as we, as, as we haven't got any actually uh, made up yet, but what I'm going to do next is add a new taxonomy. Now, taxonomies can be uh, basically ways of um, sorting information. So, for example, with blog posts, you, you have tags, don't you, uh, which are basically a, a taxonomy that isn't hierarchical, um, or you, you can use your, your categories. Uh, I'm going to make one called locations. So again, we'll just call we'll make the taxonomy just called location there. Say so locations for plural and location for singular, like that. Okay, and we're going to apply this to museums. So that's where the taxonomy will be available. I'm just going to go down again and look at some of these options. So we want it to be hierarchical. If we didn't have that hierarchical, uh, it would become like a tag. So you would only get the options to use single, um, what's the word from we're looking for? Uh, just just single entities, if, if you like, for your for your tags. Whereas if you have it hierarchical, you could do things like for your locations, you could say London, then you could have um, areas beneath, like like I don't know, like Hackney or Westminster um, as sub uh, sub locations. So that's a little hierarchical does for you. If you didn't have it switched on, you would just be able to pick London, for example, and no sub areas. Same for like, you know, if you, you you could only do New York, and with it switched on as hierarchical, you could make new ones for sub areas of New York, like the Bronx or Manhattan, things like that. Okay, have a play around with that, and you'll see the difference anyway. Uh, let's go a bit further down and go to. We're going to show it in the admin column, and we are going to allow bulk edit as well. And um, that's everything for that for now. You can have a play around with these settings um, if you want to. Now you see now there we've got location set in the um, under the museum section. Okay. So okay, let's get started and make a new museum. What I've done is in this other tab down here. Where are we? I've got three examples that I'm going to add as museums. So. Uh, actually, you know, let's go back a step. I need to actually make a custom field as well. So, if we go to the custom field section next, what we're going to do now is make a new field group. And I'm going to call it Museum Fields. Okay. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is, actually it's given us a, a blank field already, what I'm going to call this one. And first of all, I'm going to make it a, uh, a URL. Let's see. There we go, so it's in the top section there. We're going to make it, a, these are the different types of fields. You can choose like text fields or numbers, things like that. This is going to be a link. I'm going to call it, uh, sorry, we're going to call this um, URL or we're going to call the URL slash link like that just so that uh, let's just move on to those underscores as well. We'll just have a single underscore in there. It's put two in there because I've put the slash in. Okay, so that is. Yeah, we're going to make it required as well. So when we make a new one of these, we're going to have to fill that field in. So, okay, let's save the changes. The other thing which I've not done there is I should have... So we're going to apply this apply this set of custom fields to the post type. Museum, all right. Should have switched that on. That's okay, that's switched on there. Okay, so let's go back and make a new museum. Now that we've done all that, okay, so let's go on museums, add new. And as you can see, what we've got here is we've got a locations taxonomy, and we've got museum fields. We can ignore this down here. This is just a, uh, these are parts of Impreza theme, which we're probably not going to use. So let's get started and say Liverpool Museum. I don't actually think this is uh, technically Liverpool Museum, but it doesn't matter for this example. Um, and we're going to, I'm just going to get some text. Uh, just to put a description in there so we've got something on the page. I'm going to copy that and use that as the description. Obviously you can put whatever you want in there. For the link, I'm going to take the actual link to the website like that, put it in there. For the location, I'm going to add a new location, call it Liverpool. Okay, and set the featured image as this one. You see there are some images already in this website from other demonstrations that I've done in the past. So there we go. So that's the first one I did. I'm going to very quickly add two more and uh, fast forward this bit. Okay, so as you can see, we now have three museums listed like this. Uh, we've got the locations listed like that. Now, when I was setting up the custom taxonomies, things like uh, show in the, um, in the well, let's just go back to the settings and <laughs> find out exactly what it said. So we can go into here and go to add and edit taxonomy. Let's go to edit section, location. If you scroll down to here, so showing the user interface is uh, things like, is, is so we can see it here. Things like being able to bulk edit, I've switched that on so that if we want to, we can do bulk editing like that um, in the back end of the uh, in the back end of WordPress like this. So we have these three listed like that. 
But now we want to present those so people can, so they, so they look nice on the website, and so they're easy to uh, easy to view. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something that's built into uh, the Impreza theme, which is uh, called the Grid Element. So if I go to the home page of this demo website, as you can see, it's nothing much happening right now. Just some basic footer information things. We'll go and edit this page. And using the uh, WP Bakery uh, page builder, we're going to go into add on elements and we're going to add the grid elements. Typed in the search for it up there, and it's this element here. So, grid. And we are going to tell it to show museums. Okay, it gives us some options. If, there, if we wanted to just show the ones from York or London or Liverpool, we can do that. Um, and as it is, I'm going to show them all. I'm going to set it to show 12. Or a maximum of 12 per page and after that we're going to say pagination if there was more than 12 we'll just have numbered pagination again there's lots of options here you can play around with and appearance what you can do is we're going to make a custom appearance in a moment but if you wanted to if it was a plain fairly plain uh set of information that you're presenting you can uh you can you know built in one of the use one of the built-in word um impreza grid layouts like this uh, but as it is, we are going to make a customised one. So I'm going to go up to here again, click on Add a Grid Layout, which takes you into this section here, Grid Layouts under Impreza. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to have, we're going to make a vertical wrapper so that we can stack some elements up, one, one above the other. First thing is going to be the post image. And we're going to set a aspect ratio for this. I'm going to make it uh, a little bit letterbox shaped. I'm going to make it 2 to 1. So twice as wide as it is at all effectively. All right. I'm not going to tell it to load a huge images. There's no, no, no need for that. We'll just load up just one of these mid-sized images so it's nice and fast. And yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. The thing is I could spend ages on the design a bit right now, but the bottom line is with that. It's very subjective, so I might think something looks great, spend a lot of time on it, you might hate it, so there's no point me doing much design work in this. I'm just going to show you how it works, all right? But basically, yeah, you can do all sorts of things with your image and make it different shapes, things like that, or different sizes and aspect ratios. Next, we're going to add the title. So this will load up the actual title of the, uh, the museum. And again, you can do all sorts of things with the type, you know, make different colours and things like that, sizes, shapes, spacing, and all the rest of it. I'm just going to do it simple as I said though. Next thing I'm going to do is add horizontal wrapper and add two buttons. Okay, the first button is going to link to the museum. So as you can see here, it's giving us the option to say where we want to link this button to. I'm going to say to it, link to the custom field that we made. Alright. So that's the first button, and the thing is going to say, you know, visit museum. Oops. Like that, that's what the button's going to say on it. I could spell it correctly. And then the next button is going to say read more. And instead of linking to the custom URL, I'm going to say link to the post. Okay, so let's do that. Didn't I say read more? Okay, let's do that. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, let's save the changes. I should have given that a proper title as well, so let's call it Museum Grid. Not doing very well with this, am I? Museum Grid Layout. Okay, let's do that, save the changes. And now, if we go back to this home page, I'm just going to save that and go back into it because that will then load up into the list the custom grid layout that I just made. So you can see it's there, there's a new grid layout that I just made. And it looks like that. I'm going to make this three columns, okay, on the page. And actually, we'll keep it as two just for now, and then we can see how we can edit this in the future, okay. So let's hit refresh now. And what you're going to see is we scroll up like that. It's loaded up these images. As, you know, as I say, it doesn't look great, but you can play around with the style and do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with it. Um, if we click on this button here, say visit museum, say we're going to go off to the British Railway Museum because well, that's what we put into that custom post. If we click on read more, 
that's obviously going to take us into the page where we edited added the text like that. All right. One thing I'm just going to tweak on that grid layout is this button to say open the link in a new tab on that one. And what I'm also going to do now is just make that down to three columns. Appearance, go to three columns like that. I'm also just going to do a more little tweak and just take this post type, this title down to heading three, just to reduce it a little bit. That's all the styling I'm going to do, I think, with that. So as you can see, these buttons are just ridiculously big. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, you can play around with the style all you like until you get it right. So. One, ne the next thing I want to do is just demonstrate how we can also, if we click on read more now, you see that we don't have the image, we don't have the buttons, um, and we don't have the location. So that's something I did miss off here. So what I'm going to do is add the location in. I'm just going to hit this plus button and say add a custom, add a post taxonomy like that. The taxonomy I'm going to add is location. And I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just quickly put a little bit of styling on it. It's going to look stupid, but who cares? It's just for a demo. Let's make it red and let's make it uh, let's make it nice and bold. Okay, and we don't want to link to anything. Let's just do that and put it in here. Hit refresh. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go back to the home page because that's what it's going to show. So now you can see that you've got the location in there as well for you taking the custom taxonomy and one more thing before I go make a custom layout for here I'm just going to show you something else that we can do with the grid we can actually go and switch on the filter if we want to I'm going to filter by locations and I'm just I'm not going to play around with the style of it again I'm just going to switch it on and show you how we can now go and refresh one more time it's not appeared. What's going on there? Let's see. That's odd. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not showing. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about it too much because there's another way I can do it actually. Impreza also really has a nice. Um, feature built in called the uh, basically the grid filter. So we'll switch that one on instead. Um, what we're going to do is change this to locations, say checkboxes. Again, you can play around with the styles to your heart's content. I'm just going to put a little bit of space in there because otherwise it'll sit straight on top. Let's put that separator in there. That will just give it a little bit of spacing. Go and refresh the page. We can now look at this and say, okay, I just want to look at ones in Liverpool, or I just want to live in, uh, sorry, look at ones in Liverpool and London. Okay, so you've got lots of different ways you can filter as well, like that, or reset it, and we'll see them all again. Now, just before I wrap this video up, because it's gone on way longer than I wanted it to, let's go and make a custom template for this. So right now we have this layout, which isn't correct. What we really want to do is see more information. So let's go to, again, under the Impreza section. We're going to go to Page Templates. And I'm going to make a new one called Museum Page. I'm going to go to the backend editor and I'm going to go, first of all, add an element, which is going to be the post image. All right. And again, I'm going to change it to a different aspect ratio. I'm going to make it even more letterbox shapes. I'm going to make it four to one this time. Four times wider than it is tall. And I can load the big one this time. I'm also going to remove any padding from the top and bottom. These are all things that you might get used to if, if you're using Prezza quite a lot. Um, so that can stay up there like that. And I'll make another row. And we're going to get post content, which is post content. There it is. So that loads up all the text. 
and I'm going to say just load the full content as it is. In here we're going to add post taxonomy. We're going to put, pull up the uh, the location. We're not going to have a link on it. Okay, and also let's just add in those buttons again. So same, we're going to say. Actually, we only need one button, don't we? Because we're already reading more. We don't need to say read more again. We're just going to say visit museum, and the link is going to be to our custom field. Okay. So let's go like that. It's not going to look great, but it should do the job. So we've now set up that museum page. What we need to do is go to the theme options, and we need to assign it to that type. So. So that's a custom post type. So in the pages layout, so what we're going to do is go scroll down and we'll find our custom post type for museums and say the page template is going to be the museum page. Save that. And we'll go back and right now it looks like this. And if I hit refresh, we now get that image at the top. Again, it, it looks stupid because I've not put any styling on it, but you can see that it's pulling in the right information. We've got the image, we've got the button. Uh, we've got where it is and we've got the description and if we click on that that will take us away to the railway museum so just one, one tiny more one more tiny tweak on that again I forgot to click that button on open link in new tab well there you go that is how you can make custom post types custom fields and custom layouts um, and custom taxonomies all in WordPress using the impress theme so I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions? Uh, you know, I use I use Impreza theme. You know, all day, every, well, not all day, every day, but every day for, uh, for for all my clients, I use this theme now. It's really powerful. And if you have any questions, drop me a line. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you've if you've learned something from this. Okay, thanks.